This is Rogue Wing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over the Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. My project for this one is going to be the well, it's going to start life as the 1144th scale Fine Molds Millennium Falcon. I'm going to be making some modifications to it though, basing it off an old build I did of the AMT kit. I'm going to cover most of the back with an additional plate and modify the engine some just to give her a little different look. Now one change I'll be making from this look is I'll be making these exhaust panels so they're still exposed. To that end, I've already taken the time to do a quick little rubbing. Give me a layout of where those holes need to be in relation to the curvature for the turret. May or may not light it. Part of that may depend on if I can find a crew for it. This one, since I'm not doing this Millennium Falcon, is going to be the Jilted Harlot for a character and a little bit of fan fiction I'm working on. Okay, at this point, the Millennium Falcon group build over at ScaleModelAddict.com and StarshipModeler.com has started. I'm just barely getting underway with my own build. Again, working with the 1144th scale Millennium Falcon kit from Fine Molds. She's not very big. I've gone ahead and that template that I made from the rubbing of the back of the ship here, I've gone ahead and cut out in sheet styrene the new back panel and I've drilled out the holes for the vents on the back of the Falcon. As you can see they line up pretty well. I still need to open them up a little, but that'll work nicely. I have also found a source for the nozzles on the back of the modifications I'm making. These tips are actually from hypodermic needles. These are the protective covers. I have since taken the needles out of the syringes they came in, so nobody has to worry about getting jabbed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and cut them down to length. And they'll basically go into the back of the falcon to give me my enhanced engines. One other change I'm going to make to this version is the quad guns on the Falcon. Since this isn't, since my build isn't going to be the Falcon, I'm going to take the quad guns here and probably turn them into dual guns, just to add some more differences between them. Still looking at probably getting some. 144th or in scale figures to fit in the cockpit. I'm also still considering lighting. I figured out a little what I want to do with the lighting. I know I'm going to need a light running into the cockpit and probably lights for up here and in the middle of this gap here and of course the biggest one being the engines themselves. What I'm likely going to do is take out these panels that back the normal engine plate, 
hollow out the back of the engine plate and fill a section of the bottom here with foil and then use some clear resin to create a lens for the back that will give me a nice uniform glow once the lights come on. Still haven't decided for sure if I'm going to light yet, but that's where we sit right now. Okay, while I debate the lighting or no lighting, landing gear or no landing gear question, decided to get at least some more actual work done on the um, jilted harlot. So, to that end, I've gone in, I've got the inserts in place on the bottom hull, got the sidewalls in place, yeah, it looks like I may have to do some gap adjustment. Did notice one gap I didn't like at all, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera here, but it's right under this detail piece. That, to be honest, I'll probably just fill with some tube cement. Because once I fill that, the paint should cover the rest of it. The rest of the sidewalls look really good. I haven't put the engine piece in yet because I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to light this. I've also got the grills in place on the upper section of the hull. I'm going to give kudos to Fine Molds because they did make most of the detail line up even if it's a little simplified for this much smaller ship. Most of these grills also just about pop into place which I thought was a really nice touch. Of course now I'm reaching the point where I really have to come to a decision about whether or not I'm going to light this bird. So stay tuned.